Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the common side effects of antipsychotics. To make it easier, we can divide the side effects into movement side effects and body side effects. In our previous video, we have discussed all the movement-related side effects. And in this video, we'll talk about the body-related side effects. Antipsychotic medications are stored in lipid and fatty tissues. So once the patient starts taking these medications, they will be stored in their system and slowly released, which means that the patient can potentially have side effects long after they discontinue taking the medication. One of the most common side effects is hyperprolactinemia, which is the effect of dopamine inhibition. This presents as gynecomastia and galacturia. And it can also cause sexual dysfunction and sometimes infertility, which is irreversible. Their anti-muscarinic effects cause them to cause dry mouth and constipation. And they're also known for sedation. On the long run, the antipsychotic medications can cause dyslipidemia with weight gain and sometimes hyperglycemia. These three are known as the metabolic syndrome. But again, this only happens in the long term. Cardiovascular system related, we have orthostatic hypotension, which means that they will feel dizzy if they are stood up too fast, and arrhythmia related to QT prolongation. So to recap, we know that antipsychotics are stored in the fatty tissue. They cause hyperprolactinemia, which presents as gynecomastia and infertility. There will also be dry mouth, constipation, and sedation. In the long run, there is dyslipidemia, hyperglycemia, and weight gain. And in cardiovascular system, they cause orthostatic hypotension and QT prolongation. Click here to view the movement-related side effects. 